Ladies and gentlemen, the Phillies, thank you for joining us tonight as we pay tribute to late Phillies chairman and the 2020 National Baseball Hall of Fame's Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, David P. Montgomery. An extraordinary individual who will forever be remembered as the father figure of our collective Phillies family. Tonight, we honor David and an award so fitting of his legacy. Please join us as we welcome to the field David's wife, Lynn Montgomery. Lynn is joined by her family, Sousa, Sam, Cameron, and Will McFall. And Sam, Leslie, and Elizabeth Scheid. Also joining them is Philly's managing partner, John Middleton as well as a few Phillies legends. And we thank all of you for being with us this evening. Presented by the Hall of Fame's Board of Directors, the Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award honors an individual whose extraordinary efforts enhanced baseball's positive impact on society broaden the game's appeal, and whose character, integrity, and dignity are comparable to the qualities exhibited by Buck O'Neill, the Negro League's legend whose baseball contributions spanned eight decades. David Montgomery, an industry icon and beloved co-worker, spent 49 years with the Phillies working his way up from the sales office to team president and chief executive officer and became just the fifth winner of the award in 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to Fanavision for a look back on the legacy of our dear friend, David Montgomery. Hello everybody, this is Chase Utley, and I'd like to tell you about my friend David Montgomery. I joined the Phillies family in the year 2000, and if ever there was a father figure, it was David. As a player, he was among the first to greet you at the beginning of your career, and always available to guide you along the way. David was not the type of guy who would talk to you about your stance or your statistics. He would always instill the core values of what it meant to be a Philadelphia Philly. His record as an executive was outstanding as he guided the team through one of the greatest periods in our history. His vision and leadership in the construction of Citizens Bank Park led to the creation of an awesome sports destination for the city and an attractive draw for free agents. It was a great recipe for winning, and boy, did we win. And with winning came increased visibility for the Phillies brand and a chance to reach more people for the greater good. David realized this and brought us all into the mindset of giving back. Whether it was contributing time to help our continuous fight against ALS or to promote our individual causes, David made sure it was a true team all through the entire organization. Throughout our glory years, there was no better place to play. A baseball season stretches from February into October with very few off days. During our successful years, there were almost no off days because we all had our own charitable events in the community. There was an almost competitive drive within the team to see who could raise more money and awareness for each of our causes. And David was right there in the middle of everything, smiling proudly and celebrating the culture he helped create. It's very fitting that David won the Buck O'Neill Award, presented to, and I quote, an individual 
for extraordinary efforts to enhance baseball's positive impact on society. They definitely got that one right. David actually got to spend some time with Buck O'Neill at the gala for Philadelphia Stars Negro League Memorial Park, another one of David's favorite causes. It was quite a night. For those of us who are lucky enough to know David, we are all pretty sure he would be a little uncomfortable with all the attention he has received. He very much would rather be the one shining the light instead of standing in the spotlight. For a baseball person, there is nothing greater than to be honored by the Hall of Fame. David Montgomery represents the best our sport has to offer. His leadership and wisdom, his friendship and heart have helped the Phillies family touch countless lives. Like I said, they got this one right. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd now like to bring on to the field two members of the Phillies family whose careers have each earned them a place in Cooperstown. Please welcome Hall of Famers. Number 20, third baseman Michael Jack Schmidt. And pitcher, number 32, Steve Carlton. Ladies and gentlemen, today the Phillies dedicate a Baseball Hall of Fame awards display to be permanently located in the Hall of Fame Club at Citizens Bank Park. So Michael Jack and Lefty, we'd ask if you could please help us unveil an image of David that will be featured in this new display on a count of three. One, two, three. Terrific. Thank you, Michael Jack Schmidt and Lefty Steve Carlton. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you once again please direct your attention to Fanavision. Our new display proudly features three Phillies legends that have been honored by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Joining David in this Cooperstown display are Bison and Harry Callis, both Ford C. Frick Award recipients for broadcasting excellence. As the recipient of the 2020 Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award, David joins an elite class of individuals whose contributions to the game and reach of baseball mirrors that of the award's namesake. Once again, please direct your attention to Fanavision for a special look back at the award's presentation in Cooperstown last month, honoring David Montgomery. Beloved is a word that implies a superlative, and Dave Montgomery was truly beloved throughout our game. As the longtime leader of the Phillies, Dave developed a culture that was truly like family, emphasizing continuity and devotion to a common goal of excellence on and off the field. Dave's influence in the game went far beyond the Phillies. For more than two decades, Dave played a pivotal role in virtually every Major League Baseball initiative, devoting countless hours to industry matters. The life of Dave Montgomery was full of accomplishments, but perhaps his most important legacy is the countless people who were touched by his understanding of and his appreciation for the fact that it is a privilege 
to be associated with baseball. People would often refer to a special twinkle that David had in his eye when he would talk about his beloved game of baseball and the Phillies. I have no doubt that Twinkle would be particularly bright if he were here today. Philadelphia was founded on Quaker values and is known as the city of brotherly love. And those same values deeply influenced David throughout his life. It is quite remarkable that those same qualities are what make individuals worthy of consideration for the Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award. It is as if his life has come full circle Eight months before David's death, the Phillies renamed the club's most esteemed award, and the Ashburn Award became the Ashburn Montgomery Award. At that time, he told employees in an email that there could be no greater honor than to be associated with an award that recognizes the dedication, loyalty, and passion of my coworkers. For nearly half of a century, I've been blessed. I've been fortunate enough to have worked in baseball for my hometown team with a countless number of wonderful people, a dream come true. To now have his name on this award in Cooperstown is yet another incredible dream come true. What a great job Lynn Montgomery did accepting for David. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Buck O'Neill Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, the Phillies' own David Montgomery.